What's going on, guys? Jordan here, coming back at you again with another episode of Beer Views. Tonight, we're going to be reviewing a Waterbird product, which is going to be the Vodka Citrus Squeeze. This is American vodka with sparkling water and natural orange flavor. Made with real potato vodka. And they are from Charlottesville, Virginia. This is coming in at 5% ABV, and this is a 24-ounce can. Now, before I even get into the video, I'm already pretty, pretty irritated. I'll be honest with you. Because when I bought this, I didn't really look for the tag specifically, the price tag. Below in the cooler at Walmart, it had the, uh, the I've seen several things like 272 298 250 all that and this was right there so i was like well it's probably one of those it's just a couple bucks like your typical 24 ounce can is well after i actually paid for it i found out that this was 498 498 oh this was that that's before tax this thing was over five dollars for one single 24 ounce can of a five percent abv drink Vodka Citrus Squeeze, $5. For what? For what? I'm still irritated about that. Because I have no problem paying that for a beer. A nice, good craft beer, I'll pay more than that for. But this? What? Really? $5? For a 5%? basically seltzer like vodka soda close it so if they got their little fancy tab on top where you can close it back which i guarantee you i'm not gonna use because why would i there's the crack there's the opening let's get a smell out of the can we're gonna give this thing the benefit of the doubt Get a faint smell of orange right out of the, the can. And really not much else. It almost smells like a diet, maybe a diet crush or sun-kissed soda. Into the glass. Okay, I like the pour. It's a little slow, but we'll get there eventually. Waterbird Vodka Citrus Squeeze. Can cocktails, handmade for your enjoyment. Well, I don't know how much I'm going to enjoy <laughs> something that was over $5 for a can of something that I never even buy. I just bought this for review purposes. I literally thought this was like $272, $298 maybe. $4.98, over $5. I'm going to shut up. We're going to give this the benefit of the doubt. But I am telling you right now, for the price point, I wouldn't buy this. But we're going to give it a taste. There is definitely some particulate in that. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, you can definitely see that. There's a lot of particulate in that. It looks like pulp. Is it orange? Spirits of orange. Blah, 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 blah. They're basically just talking about the vodka. But I'm assuming that is some orange pulp. Okay, out of the out of the out of the glass you kind of get the Well Thought there was a little bit more than there was out of the can, but real not really. It just kind of smells like Sparkling water with some orange flavoring in it. Maybe a diet orange soda, maybe. I mean, it's, it's got a decent aroma on it, but it's, it's kind of faint. Now let's get to the taste. Let's see why this thing is $5 per can. That still just blows me away. Cheers.
it's not bad, but well, it's, 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 it's got a little bit more sweetness than I was expecting it to have, honestly, for what this type of drink is. I've had drinks like this before in the past, but this one's got like a, it's got a, like a weird sweetness to it. Uh, as far as the alcohol, this thing's over only 5%, so. I'm not really getting the alcohol, but I am getting uh, some type of syrupy type sweetness on it. It's decent. I don't really get any alcohol notes. The vodka flavor. Ever so slightly, but it's just, you gotta kinda like search for it. It's not really that prevalent. Uh, the chunks, the, the, the particulate that's in it doesn't really bother me. That never really bothers me. But I can definitely tell that some people that drink these type of things that pour this into a glass, they might not want to drink this. Like, my girlfriend would not want to touch this. Like, if she seen this, she would be like, no, absolutely not. So, there's people that wouldn't, that, that would definitely be a turnoff for sure. Kind of just sits there, suspended. I don't really know really what to say about it. It's 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 good for what it is, but it's not it, it, I I'm not getting that I'm not getting that refreshing crisp type of feel that I would want from something like this. It's kind of syrupy like I said. It's 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 weirdly sweet. <laughs> But five dollars for this. I, I just I just can't understand that at all. I mean there I, I buy craft beer all the time that's cheaper than that. And that's ridiculous. You could buy yourself a you could buy yourself a four pack of Keystone Light for less than that. You're getting more for your money for sure. But It's not blowing me away. There's nothing impressive about it. Other than maybe the fact that you can reclose it. I guess that's something. I won't be using it because I won't be drinking it, but it is what it is. Okay, as far as the rating goes for this, I'm still incredibly ticked off that it was that much for this. Like, what? What even is this? This is not something that I would ever buy. I wouldn't recommend it to anybody unless you absolutely cannot stand the taste of beer or whatever you drink. If you don't like the taste of alcohol, maybe pick this up. But you still get, I still get the ever so slight hint of the vodka. Just barely, barely. But hey, if, it, if you like vodka mixed cocktails, maybe this would be up your alley. But in the long run, it'd probably just be cheaper to buy yourself a bottle of vodka and get you something to mix it with and make your own cocktail over buying several of these. Or God only knows how much they charge for their 12 packs, 6 packs, or whatever they have. This is the only thing I've ever seen by Waterbird. I don't know nothing about the company. But they can do them, I'll do me, and I won't buy the products.
because that is absolutely ridiculous for something to be that expensive for what that is. And I'm not saying $5 is expensive like I can't afford it. I'm saying for what this is, that's atrocious. That's ridiculous. I'll pay that for a nice barrel-aged stout or something, like a something that's worth the price, not this. As far as a rating, I'm going to stop rambling now. As far as a rating, this thing is average. It's mid at, at best. This a f five. I'll give it a five. Middle of the road. It's as mid as it gets. Nothing impressive about it. Nothing great about it. It's overpriced. I would never buy this again. I would never recommend this to anyone. It's boring. It's just... It's syrupy. It's sweet. It's just... Not for me. So... We'll just, we'll just get rid of that. We'll just get rid of that. That's the video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed hearing my rambling and my ranting, but... I just think that this is a little ridiculous. Let me know if you guys have tried this and how much it is in your area. I don't know if it's just, I don't know how, where it's available at, but $4.98 here in Missouri for something that's that boring and uneventful. Five out of 10. That's my review. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to give me a thumbs up. If you guys have any suggestions on anything you would like me to try in the future, leave it in the comment section below and I'll do my best to try to find it and give it a review. As always, until next time, we don't cheers with, with not good products here. We cheer. We cheers with good products. Coors Light. Yes, it's a light beer. I like Coors Light. Bite me. Cheers, guys. Thanks for watching.